Hey, Simi, what are you doing? Hey, I'm writing Christmas cards for my friends. Oh, really? Yeah. That's really cool. Have you considered creating your own card in Scratch? Can we do that? Yes, you can. Join me in this tutorial to show you how we can create our own Yay! card in Scratch. Awesome. Hello and welcome to Kitty Code Ninja Tutorials. This is Ellie and this is your place to learn to code and have fun. Let's see how we can craft an amazing animated Christmas card in Scratch. In order to do that, we open our browser, and we navigate to scratch.mit.azure and from here, we click on create from the left corner And then after the page was loaded, it's always a good habit to give our projects a meaningful name. So I give it the name Christmas card dash card. And then I get rid of the things that I do not need. So I delete this. We are going to create the Christmas card, like the physical card, using backdrops. So I choose two backdrops. I create two backdrops for the open and closed versions of the card. So I go here on the backdrop, and because it's a custom made backdrop, which does not exist on the pre existing backdrops of the scratch, I go to the paint so that I can draw my own card. So I go to the paint and then I choose the color of my card. Because it's Christmas, I'm going to create a green and red card. So I click on the color and then I play with this to see the color I like. Now this is what I want. Now I click on the rectangle I draw a rectangle and then I click on the pointer to get out of that. So I need one more rectangle as well. I want the, the other rectangle to be red. So I change the color. I choose a new color. Red, red, red. And then I draw another rectangle, which is about the same size. So I draw one more. Now I'm going to move this a bit here. I want to make it look like that is a card that is halfway opened. So I click on this reshape icon here. And then I'm going to drag the corners a bit upward and a bit upward here. The same on this one. Then I'm going to put this edges on each other. So now I have a card that looks like, looks like it's halfway opened. What else I'm going to do is I duplicate this. Now I have two backdrops. I can give them a better name. So for this one, I say closed card. And for this one, I'm going to say opened card. So it makes more sense rather than be backdrop two or three or numbers. Now I see the change is applied here. Okay, now let's play with this one and make it look like it's an opened card. So I click on the reshape and then I'm going to flip this over so that it looks like it's an opened card. Something like this. And this one, I reshape it a bit. 
that's pretty much what I want. Let's add a couple of sprites as well. So I go to this one and then I click on the sprites and I'm going to create my own text based sprite using paint. So I click on the paint and then I'm going to write uh, using a color of my choice. I'm going to write here, click here to open and then using this one, I'm going to draw an arrow. Okay. And then I change the font to something that I like better. Mm. I like this one because it's more like a handwriting. And then I'm going to select them all. I use this one and then I uh, drag it around it, drag my mouse around it. And then after everything is selected, I choose group. Now everything moves together. So it looks like everything is only one sprite. And then I'm going to put it on top of my card. I like it better if it's white. So I'm going to change the color to something at least lighter. So white so that it looks better here. Now we are going to write a code to operate the action of opening and closing the card. First of all, I want the initial state of the card to be closed. So I want at the start of the project, the card be on the closed card backdrop. So I go to the backdrops and then I click on the code and I say from the events when start clicked, and then from the looks, switch backdrop to closed card. In this case, I'm certain that at the initial uh, state, the card is always closed. So if I click start, I see that the card is closed. Now, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a code so that when I click on this arrow or this sentence, the whole thing is one sprite. Uh, the card is switching to the opened condition. And so I go to the events and then I choose when this sprite is clicked zoom it so that you can see. So when this sprite is clicked, I want to switch to backdrop, which is the opened backdrop. So I go to the looks and then I say switch backdrop to opened cart. So I click to see what happens. When I click here, the, and the card is open, but also after the card opens, is opened, I don't want to see this one anymore. So from the looks, I can choose height. So if I click here now, the card is opened and I do not see that uh, sentence anymore. One more thing is, 
Uh, one more thing that I need to write here is that uh, when the card is closed and right away after I click the start at the very beginning, I want to make sure that arrow and the sentence is showing up. So right here, I would go to the events and say when start clicked, now I say show. So I'm sure that when I click the start, this one is showed up. So now the card is closed on the initial state. This one is shown as well. Now we need to add more stuff on the opened card. So I click on the sprite and then I just choose one of the pre-made sprites but you can really do choose whatever you want. Um, I type, I search for winter and then this snowman comes up. I choose this. Now I drag this snowman onto the card and I want it to be hidden when I'm on the closed card and I want it to be shown when I switch to the opened card backdrop. So, so initially when start is clicked, I don't want it to be here. Uh, what I can do is uh, I can say initially when start is clicked, I broadcast a message which can be done from the events. Broadcast message, a new message uh, is hide snowman. So I drag it here. So what I expect is, uh, is when I click the start, I broadcast hide the snowman. So now I go to the snowman and then I say, when I receive hide the snowman, I would hide. So I drag this. Now let's test it. I click start. Now you see at the initial state, I don't have it. Now I click open. The snowman is not here. So now I need to need it to be shown. Again, I go to the sprite. And then on top of when this sprite is clicked, switch to open card. Again, another broadcast message, which is broadcast new message, not the sign, show snowman. So I drag it here. Let's test and see what happens. Okay, I set the sh show the snowman, but I didn't add it to the snowman. So I go to the snowman. Again, when I receive the show snowman. Now this time, show. When I receive show snowman, show from the looks. Let's click again. Initial state, I click here, the snowman shows up. Uh, I can add something else to make it more interesting, which is on after the show, I can say, say Merry Christmas for two seconds or maybe even more, four seconds. Now testing it, I click here, it says Merry Christmas. Let's do one last thing. Uh, 
which is adding a song so that when the card is opened is musical card in order to do that i go to the sounds i click here and search i go to the loops and i choose something like this one Preferably you can record a Christmas song or something if you are artistic, but otherwise you can choose something that exists here. Now I go back to the code and then from the sounds, I say play sound until done. Now let's test it again. Uh, so you see that there is a four seconds de delay before the card is uh, the song is played so I just swap these two so that it starts playing right away so again I click and then after a bit I will see these messages coming so we're done with this tutorial hurry up we are so close to the Christmas create Christmas cards for your loved ones and make sure to send it to them and also make sure to share your Christmas cards on the comment below. I'm so excited to see the epic projects that you made. If you liked the video don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so that you won't miss another tutorial. See you next week.